UFC Welterweight Championship Showdown between Leon Edwards and Colby Covington. All right, so here he is, the number one welterweight contender, getting set to challenge for the UFC's 170-pound title. Took a long winning streak in many years for him to realize this opportunity. He is not taking it lightly. He has said all here during fight week he's appreciative of this opportunity, but he is confident he is gonna maximize it and leave as not just a contender, but a UFC champion. He is the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion in a division full of killers. He has remained the hunted at 170 pounds. Now, unquestionably staring at his toughest challenger to date, can he go back home as the champion? If he can, another chapter to one of the greatest welterweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. our tale of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. Four years apart with similar height and reach. To get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Welterweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 17 wins, three losses. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Colby Chaos Covington. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 21 wins, three losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC welterweight champion of the world, Leon Rocky Edwards. UFC belt on the line, guys. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. So here we go, round one of this highly anticipated tilt between the strong striker and the decorated grappler. Any chance that these guys mix it up or are you just expecting them to stick to what got them to the dance? I'm expecting a pretty straightforward approach from both of these fighters. Yeah. The striker will try to lead with his punches and his kicks and the grappler will try to time a takedown, time a clinch position so he can start to work towards a lot of those great judo throws that he possesses. Once on the ground, he is in his realm and we'll start to chase the missions. Stuff the takedown, no problem. And they separate. Covington gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those.
those hands up. Oh, a beautiful jab there from Leon Edwards. And if you don't know the name Leon Edwards, you're going to start to hear his name increasingly. Truly one of the better fighters in this game. Absolutely. And the reason you don't know his name is because he's more of a quiet guy. He's very reserved. He used to be at AKA for months, and you barely knew that Rocky was even there. He, oh, nice pop there from the crowd as he finally gets the takedown. He stayed committed to the offensive wrestling, and now... Oh, beautiful counter there as he gains the side mount and try to get out of this guillotine by potentially attempting a Von Flu? Wow. Best submission specialist we've seen in a long time. And there he is, the UFC welterweight champion of the world. What a moment for him here tonight as he earns the victory by submission. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 30 seconds of the very first round. For the winner, by submission, and new undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Kobe Chaos Covington. So there he is, the newly minted UFC welterweight champion. You had to look far and wide for people who were picking him in this spot tonight.